Hey, what's up guys? It is BuzzFin23 here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on my favorite additions in my collection. Now, I love every single one of my Buzz Lightyears, even the Toy Story 4 one, like, that's, even that still has some decency. But obviously it's not good, but I still like it. So, yeah, but these are one of my favorites out of my collection. A lot of them are actually pretty rare as well. They don't have to specifically be rare though, but these are actually kind of rare. But, yeah, let's get on with the video and let's show off my first one that I think is one of my valuable and one of my most favorites out of my collection. All right, first we got the Stars and Stripes Buzz Lightyear from Toy Storm Beyond, somewhere between like Disney Store and like 2004-ish, 2003-ish this came out. This is a really cool figure. It has a Stars and Stripes kind of design pattern. I don't think this is sold anywhere else except for the US, but it has no laser sticker or uh, Star Command sticker. But it is a really cool looking design, one of the most unique buzzes to date, and I think he's really awesome. Sadly, um, his backpack broke, so yeah, I might have lost that, and part of his wings are kind of gone, so yeah, that kind of sucks, but I do not have the box with him. I will show a picture of the box really fast, and yeah, let's just show you what he does real quick. I'll show you some of his phrases. Really cool phrases. Some of them are from Toy Story 2. And as you can tell, that is from the Toy Story 2, like, beginning of when Buzz is flying around, that music. I am Buzz Lightyear, member of the Universe Protection Unit. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. Thank you for your service. Please remain seated until I complete the instructions. He also does have a timer laser, so it kind of, like, ticks up. So it might take a while, but you can just hit the button again and it'll instantly go to the laser noise. But yeah, this buzz is really cool. He does have the same post ability as any other 95 buzz. He has the one finger articulation with just like no paint on the arms. He can twist at the arm. He can bend up. He can bend at his leg. He can bend at his feet. He can swivel. Retractable helmet. Head does not move though. But yeah, he is really cool, and he does have pop-out wings, but remember, mine are broken, so that sucks. No wrist communicator, but what's really interesting about this one is that the prototype actually had a wrist communicator, so I don't know why they stripped that, because I think it would have been really cool if they had, like, a wrist communicator for this buzz. But sadly, they didn't, and that kind of sucks, but he's still really cool and one of the most unique buzz light years to date, and he is one of my favorites out of my collection. All right, next up, we have the blue Buzz Lightyear 2000 Rim Guard from, I think, Toy Story and Beyond. I don't think it's Toy Story 2, but it, it's something called, like, Buzz Lightyear 2000. I'll show another picture of the box. Again, I don't have the box, sadly. I got this used for a really good deal, actually. Only $30, which is a really good deal. And, yeah, let's show what he does. He is a room guard, so he does have the same phrases as any other room guard. No cha no differences there. Um, He does have black wings, which is really cool. I'll show you a little wing action real fast. Flip down his helmet. Here we go. So yeah, that is really cool, and his helmet is actually reflective, so it can actually, you don't even see his head, which is kind of cool. And then he is all blue with this kind of black arm kind of looking design. His room guard is still the normal color. I know some Interstellars actually have their color as their room guard stand, which is really cool. But this is just the basic black one like any other room guard, like normal room guard would use. But yeah, he does have the same phrases. His voice is kind of deeper than the other ones. I think maybe that's because I need to add some new batteries to him, but... Yeah, I might need to add some more batteries to him soon, but he does have that, which is really cool. Normal phrases. He has the same posability as any other 95 Buzz has ever had. Still the one finger articulation and everything. I can't really bend the legs now because he's on the stand, but... He basically has everything, and he is really cool, and if you can find one of these guys, he's actually pretty rare. I think he's a Canadian exclusive, so you're going to have to search the web a little bit, preferably eBay, maybe Macari. I've not seen one on Macari before, but yeah, this buzz is awesome. Another one of my favorites out of my collection. And here we have another Buzz Lightyear that I have recently got. It is a Room Guard Green Interstellar Buzz Lightyear from Toy Storm Beyond. Now, I'm going to have to search a while for this box, but I think I do have a picture of the box, so I will put that as well uh, there, too, if I do have that. But yeah, this is actually one of my most 
favorite like room guard designs or just really any Buzz Lightyear design because it's fully green, fully green in a starlight. It looks really cool. And one thing that does suck about it though is that uh, I did not get a room guard with this one. I didn't get the stand, so I can't really actually put the stand on him. His stand is actually full green, so that would have been really cool to have. But sadly, it was used, and it did not come with the stand. But he is really cool. His design is awesome. He has the same, like I said, he has the same things as the other room guards. So, same laser. He also does light up when his laser goes off. But the only really other difference between the other room guards is that it lights up interstellar. But yeah, I'm going to show you some of his raises once again. Also, you can see he only lights up in the middle. He doesn't light up uh, all around like other interstellar buzzes do, which kind of sucks as well, but he's still really cool. This galaxy needs my protection. Take me to your leader. Stop, alien. You do not have clearance for this sector. I crash landed on a strange planet. Also, his wings are all clear green as well. You can even see the batteries in there, which is cool. And then you can see the wing mechanism, which is also really cool. But yeah, I'm gonna do the wings real fast. Good old 95 wings, here we go. And ta-da, there's his wings. He also has a retractable helmet. His head does not really move. Or actually, no, it does, Never mind. It doesn't move. And has the same pose ability. I can actually bend it now this time because he's not in the stand. And you can see he has a stand holes right there. Then he has the same 95 articulation. His arm can move up and down like that, and then he can swivel. And he also does have a sensor right there. And then on the back, the try me and play button. But yeah, this buzz is really awesome. Oh, he's falling down, hold up. Let me get him to stand. But yeah, this buzz is really cool. One of my favorites out of my collection. Definitely probably the rarest thing I have in my collection. This is probably the rarest single Toy Story item I have in my whole entire collection, which is really cool and I really do enjoy them. And moving on, we have the Toy Story Collection Utility Belt Buzz Lightyear and the Toys R Us exclusive Utility Belt Buzz Lightyear. These both are really cool and really fine additions to my collection, considering that they're really rare and really high in demand right now. If you get a good deal on this one, you are pretty lucky on either of these. The Utility Belt Buzz is really one of the most rarest Toy Story toys and one of the most, you know, demand. A lot of people really want this one. But yeah, thankfully I have both versions, which is really awesome. I do not have the Mattel one though, the Turbo Glow one. Hoping to get that in the future maybe, but I have these two, and these two are really cool. So first, let's go over the Toy Story Collection Buzz. This one is also really cool. It's the Toy Story Collection Buzz, but with some added phrases and a new utility belt. And he is really cool. The box is also basically the same, except for this new utility belt logo from Toy Story 2. And then here's the back. Also the same up here, and then of course the new Utility Butt Buzz logo, which is really, really awesome. He does come with the wings though, I'm just missing them. But yeah, this guy is really cool, and here we're going to show you some of his features. Retractable helmet. And then he still has that same suffocating line, which I really like. And then he has the same laser, just like the other one. He does have a wrist communicator, although it's kind of hard to open right now, so I'm not going to. But I'm just going to let you know he does have the wrist communicator. And then he is really poseable, just like the other collection buzz. He can twist at his knee. What's that over there? Oh. Yeah, he can bend at his feet, kind of really loud. And he has an individual finger articulation, which is really cool. He can swivel his wrist. He can bend back his arm. There's a lot of posability. He also has a rubber belly, so you can, like, position him in a way. He can swivel. And then, yeah, he also can move his head. Really cool. And then he does have pop-up wings. So let me show you that in just a second after I get him back up standing. And they do light up. They're both really cool, and he can also make the noises. Oh. And then he knows his landing. 
And then he also has uses the tilt bolt feature, like it's obviously stated here. Let me close up the wings. Oh. Put them on toy mode. Here's his utility boat. It does light up, which is really cool. So yeah, um, here, let me show you the last thing I wanted to show. And it is that he does glow in the dark, but actually, wait, I can't even show that, so. But yeah, um, let's move on to the other one, the Toys R Us exclusive one. This one is kind of limited on the other features. He does not have a wrist communicator, no interactive features. His wings do not light up, and he's a little bit different in his phrases. But he's still really cool. His utility belt still lights up, and he's also kind of not great at standing. But yeah, here we go. We'll show you some of his phrases. And here's this. All right, time to blast off for adventure. In five, four, three, two, one, to infinity and beyond. So yeah, it's a little bit more scuffed than the other one. And here's his laser. It's a different noise. And then here's his wings. But just painted on. Nothing really new there. He can move at his head. I don't have his helmet right now. His helmet's actually gone. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. No wrist communicator, as you can see. And then his posability is a little bit more scuffed as well in the collection. Or no, on this one. You can't really swivel at the race. You can't bend it right there. You can still bend it at the foot, up and down. There's no individual finger articulation. And he doesn't... You can't move his arm inwards like the collection one. But, I mean, still back in the day, this was still a better, like... Um, price-wise, this is still better price-wise and a good alternative if you can't get the collection version. This was still a really good one to get, and I really do recommend it. He really, Both of these guys are really awesome. You just need to find them for a good price because they're really expensive. But yeah, these are also really good additions to my collection. And here we have the Talking Rescuer Buzz, also known as the Military Buzz or the Camo Buzz that a lot of people also call it. He does actually come with the utility belt as well, but it's not the same utility belt. It's kind of different if you can see in there, way different design. And he does also have a little grapple hook if you can see up there as well, which is really awesome. And then he has this really cool looking camo green. It's not a lighter green like the Oma one, but it's like a really camo-ish dark purple, which is really cool. He's also made my Mattel definitely not think away. This does really look like a flight control or a collector's edition buzz. And then here's the box. Here's behind the box. And as you can see, even the night control buzz is down here as well. You can see right there, night control buzz. So, really cool. There's the other side, Toy Story 2. But yeah, this buzz is awesome. Sadly, his batteries are dead though, so can't really show any of his phrases. But he does have four, so he doesn't have that much, and he also does have a laser. But this is also another kind of rare piece and fine addition to my collection that I really do enjoy. And he is awesome. He's kind of pricey, though, if you do find him. I found mine for a really good deal new in box, but it, the batteries don't work, so that's kind of a downside to the decent price. But if you do find this guy used or even in the box, he is really cool. I do recommend him. Moving back to Thinkway, we have the Toy Story and Beyond Buzz Lightyear Space Rescue Buzz. This one is from Disney Store. As you can see, it has Disney Store exclusive right there. His box design is also really cool. It does have a picture of him right here. Really similar to the intergalactic buzz from 1996 and an interstellar buzz which is kind of like a combination of both worlds and it's really cool he has also this blue no he's kind of interstellar and colorful at the same time he has this blue pattern and his wings are like this kind of like yellow black and blue pattern which is also really cool um here you show you some of the box here's the other side and then here's the back. As you can see, he does have the disc launcher from the Intergalactic Buzz, and he does have the Interstellar feature and lights from the Interstellar Buzz. Now, let me give you a quick little demo of his phrases really fast. That music is also, I'm pretty sure, from the Buzz Lightyear Bank, which is from 1995, which is also really cool. Buzz 
That is also from the blast off buzz, surprisingly. They use that from this buzz on the blast off buzz, if you think that sound was familiar. Sadly, he does not have a communicator like his other counterpart, the intergalactic buzz, but he does have everything else. They have a laser. It's a really different sounding. It's kind of different, but yeah, let me show you more of some of his phrases real fast. He doesn't have that many phrases, but he's still really cool. Yeah, this buzz is really cool and really unique and also another fine addition to my collection. He's also pretty rare as well, new in box. I think I got an okay deal on this one. I didn't get really the best deal, but he is kind of pricey. I think around usually used, it's probably in the 30 to maybe $50 range and then new in box, probably like $100. But yeah, this one is really cool and I highly recommend it. And here we have another really rare version of the Interactive Buddies. It is the 2009 Tours of Us exclusive version with the blinking eyes and blinking woody it's really awesome basically the first wave of the newer versions of the interactive buddies you can still get the interactive buddies today um on smith's website only in the uk though so it's kind of hard to find it's not really in the us but this is still a really cool set and i'm glad to have it because it's super rare and i've always wanted it. it also has the moving eyes like from the older interactive buddies which is really cool they kind of stopped doing that after this one all the newer ones do not have blinking eyes, and I really think they should have added that feature on the way instead of just taking away like that. But yeah, here's a box. It is like basically the cloud pattern box. Really cool box design. Here's the side. Here's the back. It shows all the instructions for the batteries and stuff, and then all of the interactive features. And then here's this side. And then here's the box itself again. Now, I know Woody's kind of like out of his box right now. I did take this out of the box recently, but I'm going to put him kind of like out of the box really fast. So let me take him out of the box. Alrighty, here's both of them taking out of their box and they both look absolutely amazing. They're both are really cool. Um, Buzz does not have his wings or his risk commander, sadly, but it does make up for it with his interactive features and his blinking eyes, which I think is really cool. Woody does not have a pull string. It's kind of just like a print on button, which kind of sucks. And then he also does have moving eyes. And then, of course, he has his hat. But he's kind of hard to stand up. So we're not going to stand up. But yeah, let me show you these guys interacting. Oh, and he, Woody fell. <laughs> let me pick him back up. Hold on. Let me turn on the play. Let me turn Woody on the play. Woody's is kind of tucked in here. And you can see he takes AAA batteries. But here's his on switch. Turn it on. There we go. Let me just tuck this back in. And put his hat on. And then, yeah, they're ready to go. So let's make them interact. Sheriff Woody calling Buzz Lightyear. Come in, Buzz. This is Buzz Lightyear. Go ahead. Hello. Look along, Enforcer. It's about time you got here. Howdy. My name's Woody. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. My ship has crash landed here by mistake. So yeah, these are the interactive buddies. Both are really awesome. And my personally, my favorite version of these guys, 
These guys are really awesome in my collection, and they are a must-get. I really do recommend these guys. These guys are awesome, and if you can find both of these guys for a good price, I highly recommend it. And last but definitely not least, we have the 2009 programmable robot Buzz Lightyear from Thinkway Toys. Now, this has to be one of the most advanced toys Thinkway Toys has ever put out. Definitely the most advanced Buzz Lightyear toy that you can buy. It is really awesome. He has many features, although he does not have wings, though. Kind of wish he had wings, but also at the same time, I don't, because it might kind of strip him of his other features. But this Buzz is awesome. And I really do recommend if you can find good deals on this. This is actually pretty not hard. This is not hard to find on eBay, but it is kind of pricey new in box if you just want one new or if you want one used. Some of the used ones might be a little bit broken, so I would kind of recommend getting like a better um, quality one, better condition or new in box. Either one works. But yeah, this one is really cool. Um, I don't actually have his remote on me right now. Uh, I'll have to find it somewhere, but I'm not going to do that much of a long review on this, but he is my favorite Buzz Lightyear of all time. He is the awesome ultimate Buzz Lightyear. I had this when I was four and I've grown up with it. It is really awesome. And yeah, let me show you just a quick little rundown of him. I think he's on Trummy mode, so we'll show you that real fast. Local law enforcement, it's about time you got here. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. He has mouth movement, eye movement, he has his laser, his wrist communicator, he has a lot of things. Yeah, he is awesome. And here, let me switch him on the play mode. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Do you read me? What is the answer? He always starts off with Star Command. Always. And here's his laser. He has individual finger uh, articulation. Up. Oh. Yes, I've heard this trick If you touch his hand, you can give him a high five. Right. Also a really cool feature. But yeah, he does have individual finger articulation. He can roll like he can move his legs on a wheel um he is really cool up. he also does have a microphone so you can respond to him so you'd be like hi buzz up oh. hi buzz Stand back, oh, okay that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't the actual one but here let me do fire laser fire laser Darker Man. Buzz Lightyear's mission log. A crash landed on a strange planet. So yeah, he does have a lot of the interactive features from the collection one, but they're just more advanced, and I think this one is really awesome. I really do recommend it, and he is awesome. He does have a retractable I helmet. Oh. I'm trained for any task at hand. He kind of does interrupt you a lot. Here, let me just... Take what you will. I'll Here's his toy lady. mode. Yeah, he's really cool. He also has this light year light up, which is also awesome. And then here's his playback button. You can make him playback any motion you do him because he's programmable and he has puppeteering. He's really awesome. And yeah, let me turn him off before he interrupts me again. But yeah, this guy is awesome. My favorite Buzz Lightyear of all time. He is great. I highly recommend him. And that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Buzz Lightyear content for me. I really do appreciate it. And if you like Buzz Lightyears, then I highly recommend subscribing to this channel. Also, just Toy Story collecting in general. It is awesome, and I really do enjoy it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.